who sets the exams that these children are going to write and award them the certificates? Who is the administering authority of that educational system? It would have been different if it was a consensual demand from our people back home. What we will not tolerate and our people will not tolerate is these idiots who sit in the diaspora. Most of them jobless people struggling to make ends meet. Do you think that by locking down schools, you're going to achieve independence or gain the sympathy of the international community? Do you think by disrupting education, you're going to be seen as liberators? This is what has been going on and we have to put a stop somewhere. Believe me, if you guys want, you can call us La Republic, you can call us Black Leg. We're going to put out a campaign out there that if any Amber fighter touches a student, let us show wherever they are hiding. We'll start from zero. We'll raise new fighters who will respect the rules of engagement. Uh, good day, comrades. Uh, this is Comrade Lehman speaking. So, uh, we have heard this uh, clowns in the diaspora come out to talk about uh, a lockdown for two weeks. And I would beg to ask the sense or the wisdom of attacking our own children, slowing them down for two weeks just because we want to do a show. Not because it has something educational in the sense that it's going to change the curriculum of what they will be taught in school. Far from that, it's still the same education that other children are getting in other parts of La Republic. They have the same curriculum and they're going to sit for the same exams. That's the first point. Who sets the exams that these children are going to write and award them the certificates? It is the same La Republic. So when you slow our children down for two weeks in the names of lockdown, how does that help to change the curriculum? Who is the administering authority of that educational system? It is La Republic. So you guys want to start by disenfranchising our children for them to be two weeks late. And then they have to go now and compete again with people in Yaoundé, Douala who were already attending classes just because you guys want to show and it would have been different if it was a consensual demand from our people back home no this is from buffoons i'm talking about really stupid and ignorant people with questionable credentials stating things that they don't even understand all is that they want to show that they can govern when they don't even have anything they don't even understand the meaning of governance Governance means you set the system. It doesn't mean to disrupt a system. So I think that it is high time those calling for this stupid lockdown they go down there because they are setting up the fighters when they go and attack any schools they're going to show their hideouts and they're going to be killed. And I will personally call on every parent if your child is going to school and the child gets disturbed call the police show whoever disturb your child and let that person pay for his uh, for his actions what we will not tolerate and our people will not tolerate is these idiots who sit in the diaspora most of them jobless people struggling to make ends meet and they keep instigating all this stupidness on our people and i'm talking especially people like mark barretta uh, chris anu ayaba these are all jobless people in 2016, these people barely had 10,000 uh, in their accounts. These are hungry people that they have seen this revolution as somewhere to become relevant. They don't have a life of their own. They don't have a company in their name. They have never added value to anything in the society. But they are good at sending thieves to disrupt the life of our people. Do you think that by locking down schools, you're going to achieve independence or gain the sympathy of the international community? Do you think by disrupting education, you're going to be seen as liberators? There comes a time when people have to stop this stupidity and ask themselves serious questions. Why are the lawyers not being locked down? Because the students are easy prey. They are vulnerable and have no way to fight against themselves or to fight for themselves. This is what has been going on and we have to put a stop somewhere. 
we cannot allow the lives of our children to be tormented by clueless people these people talking about lockdown are clueless people who have no understanding of how statehood operates they have never had a meaningful or a senior position in any uh, administration these are people who have no knowledge of whatsoever but they are so zealous to instigate fear and disrupt uh the lives of our people and personally i'm saying it i'm gonna repeat it if any amber fighter attack any schools show all their hideouts i mean if they attack just one school or one child show their hideout let them be let them be wiped out we're gonna raise new amber and they're gonna respect the rules of engagement nobody is above our people and if you think the small child room that you guys have you can use to terrorize our people believe me like we had better weapons but they could not succeed to terrorize our people so i'm telling you guys to stop this nonsense let one school be i'm gonna put out a campaign out there i'll put my own money into it and let them show out the hiders of all amber fighters and let them be wiped out and we'll start from zero we'll raise new fighters who will respect the rules of engagement who will respect the ambazonian people we cannot be dealing with thieves Ayaba is there collecting money from people on the grounds in ground zero in the name of liberation tax what has he liberated that he's taxing people for is he the authority to implement taxes on people what kind of anarchy is this and i see buffoons go around in forums oh we are trying to protect the children how are you protecting the children by sending amber boys to go and attack schools and now the amber boys ignorant as they are with no training with no hierarchy, no supervision or discipline, are trapped into this quagmire. They cannot even make informed decisions because you guys are here instigating stupidity. The same system you guys are complaining, is it not the same system almost all of you guys went to school in? Are we fighting because of the school system? Are we fighting because of the common law? Is common law even an Amazonian law? Is the school system you guys are talking about, is it not always in uh, colonial systems? You guys just like to get up and talk stupidity about old colonial system. Oh, what the hell are you guys talking about? Even the language we are speaking. What language am I using to communicate with you guys? Is it not the colonial language? This is part of the ignorance we have been tolerating for over eight years. And it keeps giving. Just getting worse every day. But we have to stop this nonsense. Believe me, if you guys want, you can call us like Republic, you can call us Black Leg. We're going to put out a campaign out there that if any Amber fighter touches a student, let us show wherever they are hiding. And we'll have to give them incentive. You show one fighter, we give you 10,000. And let us see how this thing is going to work. Pound for pound. Because you guys think now you are, you are, you, you are Ambazonian. You are, you are now more Ambazonian than others. That you have to go out there and break anarchy. No, we will restore our statehood following the right procedure. This is an intellectual war, not a war for buffoons and idiots trying to make a name for themselves. No, I mean, I vex people, the master. Now, which kind of dawn is this? Now, punishment. Now, curse. Uh, Comrade Lehman, you are the buffoon when it comes to liberation struggles, okay? You are the buffoon. You're calling people buffoons, but let me tell you this. When it comes to liberation struggles, I don't know who you are or what you do. I'm sure you're good at your job, whatever that is. But when it comes to uh, liberation struggle, you have proved yourself to be the buffoon, okay? Let me ask you, what is at the root cause of uh, the, our, our, our fight to free ourselves from the Republic? Is it not their annexation and uh, assimilationist policies? And what has been their primary tool for assimilating us? Is it not their education system? So why are you making a big deal out of the change of date? Nobody has said that our students should not go to school. They've merely ch shifted the date of uh, the opening day to tell the world that La Republique should have no say in our education system. 
Yes, for now, we cannot change everything. So they still, uh, our children still write the same exams as La Republic and they still follow their, their curriculum. But we have to make the international com community know. You know very well that the federation or the confederation that we voted for, education uh, was the preserve of the states not the preserve of the federal uh, government the federal government only had a say in uh, higher education and that is pre uh, clearly stated in the pre plebiscite agreement although that was all put aside uh, by la republic who instead imposed their 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 constitution on us and annexed us because we never ratified any constitution that they, they that they imposed so we do, we never had a legal union with la republic du cameroon so why are you people so up in arms about a mere change in date of our uh, uh, our school resumption you as a so-called educated person do you not think that you could help our our children to catch up with with the two weeks that they they, they will miss uh, by starting school late or uh, later i've asked this question in this uh, forum many times that do we think that uh, self-defense alone can give us uh, the independence that that we seek when the world knows that our school dates are different they will ask why why have you changed your date and you can tell them that from day one that these people are next to us they have been trying to massage and uh, change our uh, dilute our education system function narrates how um, in 1963 america gave a a, a grant of 10 million dollars for for education purposes 10 million dollars was a huge sum in those days and Foncha was expecting uh, to use his own share which proportionately should be about 2 million dollars to upgrade uh, Ombe Technical School instead Ahijo uh, kept all the money and instead downgraded uh, Ombe and later cutted all the uh, lab equipment that were there over to Yaoundé we saw photos of the shell of the Ombe uh, campus uh, recently. There was another grant which was meant to build two universities, one in uh, Yaoundé, one in uh, East Cameroon and one in West Cameroon. They built the University of Yaoundé and instead of a university for us, they built Kas Pambili. Or they were building it thinking there was a university and it turned out it was a, was a high school. So education has been at the bottom of how La Republic uh, uh, marginalized and assimilated us. So it is important that we tell the world why we are fighting. We tell the world why we are seeking to make our education system different. And I don't think that a two-week or a three-week uh, difference in starting date uh, is going to break our children. Most of these children, throughout the summer holidays, they were doing uh, uh, holiday schools. Of the three months holiday, the, the first two months were all holiday school, and and they they only had uh, took one month off towards the end. So, should we be educating about our people about the importance of uh, these kinds of distinctions? Or should we be saying how we are suffering our people or we are disadvantaging our people? Look, the character of a nation is forged during such times like uh, liberation or other kinds of strife. So we have to be telling our people they are already resilient and we have to be uh, supporting them in that. Not fighting those who are fighting the enemy because that's all you do. What 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 are you doing now for the for the liberation struggle? Asking us to 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 beg La Republic for for a referendum. You know very well that if we get a referendum from La Republic to Cameroon right now, they will be 
a part and parcel of it. Nobody can come in and impose a, a referendum uh, in 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 uh, on, on that La Republic when they still assume that uh, La Republic has sovereignty over us. Until we battle them to the point where they come to to to, to the negotiating table, the only referendum that we can safely have is a post-negotiation referendum like they had in Eritrea, like they had in South Sudan. The, the referendum in South Sudan was part of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, whereby they immediately uh, went into a two-state federation and after five years they had a referendum for independence or, or, or stay as a two-state federation, which they won, which independence won 98%. So all this normalcy that you people are seeking is not part of a liberation war. A liberation war is a time where sacrifices are made. Thank you. Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Comrade Lehman. So I got up this morning and uh, I feel compelled to answer this question about no school resumption or school resumption. The first thing I want to highlight is uh, this idea or concept of non school resumption was brought about by the consortium in 2016. And their idea was to make the English speaking uh, community, whatever you call it, to have a uh, better school uh, educational system without French teachers being sent into the schools. Again, that is a reality we have to live with. We are a country that got its independence in 1961 and we have been subjugated by La Republic du Cameroon and they are trying to assimilate us. The schools, the taxation office, the politics, the economy, those are all uh, subset of the subjugation that is going on i think picking one of those uh, outlets as the main focus of our movement is just erroneous and stupid this is why i'm saying this the problem we need to be highlighting is the two-state solution two countries came together in 1961 today we have just one which is like republic to cameroon and the Republic of Southern Cameroon is being assimilated and wiped out in front of us. So instead of you guys going after schools, going after ministerial positions, going after trivialities, it is smarter. Again, it is smarter for us to organize ourselves and call for the two-state solution. We can call for the two-state solution and our people will decide if they want the two-state solution via a confederacy or a separate two entity with no relations at all. But the call is for our people to do that right to self-determination. These same people you guys are alienating by implementing these draconian policies, by stopping their children from going to school, by making their neighborhoods unsafe, through extortion, kidnapping, because now even like public soldiers can dress as amber fighters and get into the community and ask people for money. Because you guys have shown them the example. You guys have already said that amber fighters should be collecting taxes from people. So when the Republic is collecting money from people, there is no way for us to counter it because the policy comes from the amber uh, side. So again, I want to be very frank and straight to the point. You guys are trying to do what we call a show. But in warfare, they don't do show. You are either attacking your enemy or you are not. You guys have been doing this show that we are fighting for eight years. I asked you guys from the conception, when you guys asked you not to go to school, what was your end game? Now that you are asking children to go to school but in October, what has changed? from eight years ago and what will change for the two weeks that you guys are keeping children away from school are they going to develop some new political uh, revolutionary ideology are they going to love the amber fighters more 
for stopping them from going to school for two weeks or one month? See, my brothers, there comes a time we have to be adults and stop all these uh, euphemisms and all these stupid political talks. I want you guys to talk as responsible parents. The schools you guys are sending these children back to in October are still like public schools, if that is what you want to call it. The curriculum that they will be studying when they go back to school in October are still like public curriculum. The teachers who will be teaching them in October are still teachers hired and paid for by La Republic. So, you guys accepting for them to go to school in October is not a show of force. It's a show of ignorance. It means you guys don't understand the educational sector. It means you guys don't even understand what you are fighting for. I would plead with each and every one of you here. Make a valid argument. Write it on your letterhead. This is your association. And give a reason why you want the children uh, not to go to school. Now, you want to bring this argument that you cannot... Uh, you, you, you cannot uh, vouch for their safety. Do you think in, from October you'll be able to make sure that your children are safe? From October 1st or 2nd, whatever you call it, will you be able to vouch for their safety? You see, there comes a time you guys have to keep this dirty politics you play outside in the diaspora and face reality. You guys are making the international community to see us as the force of evil because no human being in his right sense stop children from going to school. Ukraine and uh, Russia are in a terrible uh, conflict. There is war and bombs dropping everywhere. But that doesn't stop children from going to school, neither in Russia, neither in Ukraine. You don't hear Ukraine uh, government saying that if children go to school, they're going to be uh, bombarded by Russian, uh, by, by their own uh, Ukraine military. Even in Palestine, where you have Israel controlling the Gaza Strip, controlling the education of Gaza and uh, West Bank, you don't hear uh, even Hamas asking children not to go to school, even under the serious bombardment. What makes you guys think that you can tell your own children not to go to school and get empathy from the wall? Where does this stupidity come from? No, let us talk as grown-ups. Let us talk as adults. There comes a time you have to justify what you say with what you do. You guys are now vouching for amber fighters to attack children who go to school against your stupid dictates. And if those guys attack any schools and we start showing their hideout, you guys will complain that we are anti ambazonia No, we are not anti ambazonia We are anti buffoonery we are anti-stupidity we are anti-political expediency you guys have turned this abazonian restoration movement into a political career that is why some of you have uh, cic's uh, presidents and all of these stupid ideas behind uh, your names trying to boast yourself and look as if you're a leader no a leader manifests himself in the way he guides his people to safety in the way they bring economic prosperity to their people in the way they, inter they interact with the international community and make them reason with you and your people. Not by inflicting misery on your own people and hoping for international sympathy. No, you get only apathy from the people. They hate what the Amazonian uh, fighters are doing on the ground. Attacking women, attacking schools, burning markets, burning schools. What the hell are you guys doing? You guys are trying to turn us against our own people? No, there comes a time you guys have to stop and think. This is not about politics or semantics. No, this is about real life. And what? Imagine me going somewhere to talk about Amazonian situation and then they go online and they see that we are the ones stopping people from going to school. Not even like public. We are the ones stopping our children from going to school. Does mathematics has uh, there is like public mathematics and uh, Amazonian mathematics? Is there like public geography and Amazonian geography? Is there like public biology and Amazonian biology? My brothers, what is wrong with you guys? Allow these children alone. Let them go to school. Allow the parents to decide. You guys have to stop this stupidity. You, you think that you are again? You guys only do these things because you can sit on social media and talk. And then you send these thieves to go and attack schools. 
you guys are not responsible because you don't have a, a structure you don't have an organization that can uh, that will be liable for your actions that is why you guys cannot even come together and create a structure because you guys know you are fake you are arsonist okay you guys think that you can play mind games with the international community you think you can blackmail the international community bro this emotional blackmail you guys are putting up will not work you guys will live with a black eye you guys are seen as the aggressors those are uh, attacking school children that is the impression you guys are giving out there people don't care about your stupidity continue with this and see where it's gonna take us i have been silent enough i'll be going out things on facebook now and i'll explain myself out i will not be part of your stupidity i will not go to prison for any of you guys because you guys are buffoons you guys don't have any brains left have a good day my dear brother very powerful expose very powerful kudos to you kudos to you my brother the only subject that i would have been hearing these people say that they don't want to be taught in english speaking cameroon is history because it's distorted apart from history tell me just one subject i mean when i say history i mean cameroon history if i say that tell me just one subject that those those students are studying in that school that is la republic subject then they come and tell me just one subject that is being taught in those schools that is like a big subject. I, I'm saying that I, I have a, I give an exemption for Cameroon history because Cameroon history is distorted in a way that it is, does not represent the history that we know. These people are just playing, they're just playing clowns because I said that any child who registers GCE in, um, in Amazonian land now is, is, is ready to pass. You just even need to attend. Just write your name, call it on the paper, you will pass. I don't know what these people are thinking. I don't understand. You don't control the schools. You don't control the exams. You don't control nothing. The all what you can control is for students not to go to school. And you call that control. Ah, this is what we call madness now. And when I'm reminding them here that uh, 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 groups of Ambazonians, separatist groups are responsible for the children not going to school. Somebody is coming here and writing me writing me Cameroon Tribune left and right, writing me long, 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 long speeches and long, long statements. Me, I'm asking that, what, how do you, what are you justifying? You are the people who have said that they have changed school day. And they changed school day for what? Because you want school to go your way. If you want school to go your way, school is international, school is conventional. And if you are stopping it in any way, you are stopping school. And I want them to stop school to that kingdom come. They should not stop it only for this short time. They should stop it even after October. And they will see whether Anglophone children, uh, Ambazonian children will not pass this year. They will pass this year. La, La Republic has the, the time, but they are wearing a watch. <laughs> and they cannot control that time on that watch. La Republic is controlling that time. When they will pass, all these GCE that are passing on ground zero, are you trying to tell us that these children that are writing GCE today are smarter than us? They are not smarter than us. But La Republic is just helping the situation to justify what they are doing. That's what we mean by they have the time. They have the time. We can be playing around that when we have a watch, we have a watch. La Republic has the time. <laughs> they have the time. Nonsense. Uh, Comrade Lehman, uh, you are the one displaying a lot of uh, ignorance here. The war in uh, Ukraine or Gaza has nothing to do uh, with the education systems uh, between the uh, belligerents. But the war in Ambazonia has everything to do with education. Education is uh, the biggest tool of assimilation that uh, La Republic has sought to use against us. You started by uh, you started by saying that we should stop meddling with education and advocate for a two-state uh, solution. How do we advocate for the two-state solution? Is it by fighting? Is it by uh, campaigning, going out on the streets? Is it by uh, 
I don't know. I don't know what what what, what measures you've put in place for, for for that campaign. And you keep talking about a referendum, but you've never brought us an uh, example of where a people just sat like that, especially in Africa, and uh, the government in place gave them a referendum. Uh, for, to, for, for them to choose whether they want to separate or form a two-state confederation. You've not given us an example for that, neither have you given us a roadmap as to how we achieve that. Now, when education has been used as such a tool against us, if we seek to tell the world why we have denied uh, that La Republic uh, we, sh we, we have refused that La Republic du Cameroon uh, should not have a, 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 a strong hand in our education. At least, you, we, we know that we cannot change everything to do with our education overnight, but such measures as we have taken, like uh, change our start date and say no to uh, La Republic government schools. First of all, you, you seem to... Uh, be a bit ignorant about uh, this aspect of it. We keep saying that the schools that we are uh, asking our children to go to in October are uh, La Republic run school or uh, La Republic paid teachers. No, uh, they are not. Uh, they have. We have banned La Republic uh, government schools. Our children are going to uh, mission schools private schools and community schools and by the way back to what i was saying this is an important step for us to implement because when you talk to the international community you explain to them how la republic has used education uh, to assimilate us you know very well about the pre plebiscite agreement that we voted on to join La Republic du Cameroon. You know that one of the eight uh, areas that were designated to be under uh, federal government control was higher education. That meant that primary and secondary education, nursery, primary and secondary uh, education was supposed to be the preserve of the two states. Each state had to manage its own education. So when you talk to the international community, you tell them that this is what we, 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 we signed up for. These people uh, have broken every understanding that we had when we, we set out to come together and we are changing everything back to what we had step by step, not overnight and we are getting out of the arrangement that we, 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 we thought we were getting into but we never got into it because they decided to annex us instead. We never had a union treaty, we never had a ratified constitution, we don't have a legal union with them. These are things that you use to tell the world why we are doing what we are doing. Because people may stand at a distance and they say you, you, you're trying to break a country or you're trying to make a new country out of uh, two regions of a particular country. But you know that is not true. We are just getting our country out of La Republic subjugation, out of La Republic annexation. And anything that we can implement at this stage to show our specificity is worth considering. And most of these things will succeed if they did not have this internal opposition. In a time of war, what does a, 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 a difference of uh, two two weeks in uh, or two or three weeks in the opening date really big uh, to our children. Why do you expect normalcy during a war? I I I, I don't get it. You think that even in uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia, where education is not part of this, you think there are, there's not some uh, disruption in 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 their education. 
and how can you even compare the, the two? Do we do we even have the same levels of uh, of financial strength in order to be able to uh, keep these things going? If some of our children are not going to school now because uh, uh, government schools are banned, it is because we have not made the commitment to uh, to substitute. Uh, the, 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 the thing that we don't want for what we want and is it that we are not uh, uh, capable of doing this no it's not it's, it's because we are not uh, committed enough to do it if we were committed you you have people that like uh, uh, Dr. Gabriel who left to say that he is he's now fighting for a confederation I asked the Federalists, did we vote for La Republic to control our our education? No, especially not our primary and secondary education. So if they say that they stand for a two-state federation or confederation, they should be supporting uh, this idea of removing La Republic from our education system as, as, as much as possible. Way back in 2019, when the Egg of Sea started advocating for our schools to resume, but without a La Republic government school, they had contact with the, uh, what is that, uh, UNICEF, uh, trying to see if, you know, we, we can begin to resolve our differences uh, with La Republic du Cameroon issue by issue trying to see if they can take their hand off our education because they were not supposed to have their hand on our education in the first place. What did they do? The incident went and uh, the, the GCE board that was uh, controlled from Boya, they, they, they took it back to, to, to Yaoundé. Just to show you people that you people are nothing, you are our slaves and we can give you anything and take anything back at any time. So I'm afraid if you cannot see that uh, whatever difference we can put between ourselves and the Republic, we should do it, then I don't know if we are in the same fight. Thank you. I say, what be the problem with the Republic education, my brother? I want me to tell me the problem with the Republic education. Mathematics and the Republic creator. Uh, geography, study of environment, and the Republic creator. Physics, chemistry, and the Republic creator. I don't ask the question, see, that one are the tossy, the Republic must educate people. When they postpone the them for school, that way begin they go write that public exam. When they stop the beginning, to me they don't write the history. That one they postpone that did them so they know they still teach the same history. When they complain against, why don't they leave the beginning and go for school? Go the when I want change on our own standard. Present us on our own curriculum, mama brother. What's our own curriculum? Day? Who the stop when I for create on our own center? Accredited center where they give certificate them. Who the stop now? If we get capacity for change them, they will get capacity to for, for, for do the other things. Who is stopping you guys? Senior complete JC. Good morning for you. I hope so you the begin your day very very well. Siam, if your education for Cameroon be assimilate you, talk for yourself the example, say my education in Cameroon assimilated me. Don't say it's the highest point of assimilation. No, it is not the highest point of assimilation. Your mental slavery is the highest point of your assimilation. You understand? If that education for Cameroon be assimilate you, put your hand for up to say, it be assimilate me. Don't generalize it. Siam, Comrade JC, something that we need to understand. You see the Amazonian struggle, so Siam, take it in a 100 uh, uh, percent number. I don't know, so you know, why, I don't know why you know why you understand. Say the, la, the Amazonian struggle in resistance for the Republic no reach 10 percent. You know, reach 10 percent. Amazonian struggle resistance among Amazonian them don't pass 90 percent. 
and climbing. You do you understand? This small game they won at the play and so we won't check the won at the core shots. Eh? It is very dangerous. By the day, it is becoming a huge danger to you. See him. If Ambazonian they be dinner for ground zero, you know why the 90% Resistance among Ambazonia and them, you know why you need to you need to cause the damage way that ten percent the cause them because we we we'll like we we'll like uh, the bubble tower will be everywhere. See them. If Ambazonia they be there for ground zero, lena Ambazonia they don't care about you. Lena Ambazonia they don't kiss a quick comment. So that one I need understand this thing where it makes so. You understand no? So I ask you say, would this ninety percent resistance where it day among Ambazonia and so? When I still give voice they for the play Ambazonia and them. Because I need to understand the thing when I think. Every day, everything will be difficult. So then you need you never know, you know, observe them. Every day, every disorder and this is game, every day it is difficult. And it is breaking down the struggle into dust. Yes. Because the thing we don't do them, you see, from 2017, 2018, 2019, you'll be yes or man, they argue. Even people they, they will know say the thing they talk, they're not correct, they were quiet. That way they don't start arguing. We need to be careful. You understand? The same thing they want to do about 23, 23. Most of them you cannot do them in 2024 again. The same thing we want to do about 2024. God, uh, God forbid and say me cross goes to 2025. 2025, you will not be able to do those things again because uh, it will be in a different level. You don't understand, no? The level of resistance, they just start now so they play. If they don't put people there for jail quick, quick. It will go for some level where you never ever you in a level it will go for some proportion you never ever know of your life. Because I see I'm the only player for play. People that they can't hear, they can't claim say, oh, no be Amazonian, they stop picking the go for school. They, they, why did they make those claims? Now when they stop picking the go for school, my brother, Ambazonian groups are stopping children from going to school. People that they can't hear, they can't act like say, now the Republic uh, language will talk them. No, now who say the Republic don't stop some picking for go for school? Una una no. Which day? So I don't I the only talk for now every day say you people are playing with fire. You are playing with fire. When I continue to play with that fire, my brother. When I continue, when I continue this bravado when I get and so when I continue, when I sit when I will see play bravado will keep on for day. You know, comrade advocate, uh, like everything else in uh, Cameroon, their education system don't be stagnant since uh, 19... 61 or 1960 when they gained independence as part of their collaboration pact or their pact for the continuation of colonization france was supposed to determine their education policy and what france left with them they've never changed it they, they've never improved upon it um, I'm not uh, an educationalist or uh, you know but I think all we know that uh, the state of Cameroon, is partly as a result of their poor education uh, system. For instance, when we did secondary school, we did learn about fishing in Norway, where we be surrounded by water. Why not learn about fishing uh, in Ekondo Titi or in the Indian or something like that? Why not learn how for uh, fish and transform our own fish. We'd be surrounded by water, but there's always a shortage of fish. And the poor quality stuff that we have is all imported, while other countries come with massive uh, ships and gather fish, fish from our coastlines. Why would you learn about forestry in Sweden, where we get massive forests of our own? And do we exploit it to, to, to the best of our ability? No, we exploit, it, we, we exploit it and we sell raw wood or give raw wood away to France for, 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 for nothing. Why can't we transform uh, those things uh, to a standard that we can ship abroad with a great markup? You know, so there are other things that are uh, very, very different. Even just the way most lectures are delivered. We're used to going to, to class and a, a a history teacher, for instance, will, will just come and stand on the board, replicate notes from a textbook. You type them when you when you when you have the textbook as well. And this was one of the top schools. So imagine what happens in other places. So um, yeah, La Republic is stagnant in a lot of things, and they put us even below them because they take away everything that we had.
So yes, we cannot change everything overnight, but we can make the symbolic changes that we can make for now, like school dates and avoidance of their own school for very specific reasons, which I, I gave before. Uh, but we must intensify the fight, take our country back, and then put a proper education system in place that raises all our children, not a privileged few. Thank you. Uh, Senior Comrade Jesse, uh, greetings once again. Nobody question that we advocate ask you. Advocate don't ask you a very simple question. That question will answer and not get any relationship with your advocate ask you. You fit there with the subject matter, the way they study and for that school where come on after the week. You know why they, they teach forestry in Sweden? They teach forestry, forestry in Sweden because they don't they don't experiment them, they don't do all the necessary research way they feel use them like academic explanation. You talk say economic system for Cameroon we don't break since 1960. You know Tapang I will wait there for Amazonian struggle. Now for Cameroon we come out, he just come out for the 10 PhD. You know play we take the base for go for America overnight, go do PhD, we put it on there for, there for years, they never go do that PhD. He take that base now for Cameroon bring them. I don't tell you say if you get problem if Cameroon in educational system be traumatize you. Maybe if you will repeat on class 10 times because you know we'll be able to pass because now Cameroon education system they will really teach you. Eh? Identify yourself like one of that coward them. Say I was a coward and I'm traumatized by my cowardice. You never answer question where advocate ask you. Because you take things and explain different things. I don't know, I don't I don't think I don't know the political party when I put on I convince them for here. Simple question. You feel tell we you feel associate education, that educational subject they did. So you feel associate, how you feel associate our Cameroon? Now the question that they ask you. Associate biology, chemistry, human biology, further maths, physics. Associate our Cameroon. See now Cameroon bring that in them. Associate our them. Now the thing that way, in other words, now the thing that way, I will explain for we. I say all that subject is really common for Cameroon. Explain for we. So let me answer this with this question. Okay, tell me country of Africa where the educational system more advanced past the way colonial master designer. I don't ask you say chemistry where the Republic is teach and be different from chemistry where the teacher for France. Or chemistry where the teacher for Nigeria be different from chemistry where the teacher for Cameroon. Why would I do so? You did beat around the bush trying to look for 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 for, for, for justification. That school when they stop and so when picking the one go write GC when they stop them simply no write history subject. Na question what they ask them. Those are the questions I ask you. Mathematics, biology, chemistry, physics, all the, these other subjects and so computer science, a bit different from other countries their own uh, system. I mean just we'll just look at Africa particularly. Which which system the way you know them will be different from La Republic system or will be different or it don't change, it don't uh, metamorph metamorphose from the time we uh, 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 the colonial master lived there.